and we're back with Hitman 2 and we have a, another legacy elusive target, this time the Chameleon down in Colorado. Now I was humming and harring on whether or not I would actually record this one as I, with a lot of the elusive targets it's just me repeating what I did in the previous go around. Um, so I like to do them if I can come up with something new. Um, but in this case I went back and I checked out my old video and it's one where I forgot to record my own dialogue. So this time we're going to dive in and you can enjoy my lovely 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 voice. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's dive into our briefing and see what's up with this gentleman. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard M. Foreman, a skilled infiltrator believed to be working with the militia on an unknown operation on U.S. soil. The target is a highly skilled actor, and our files link him with a successful impersonation of billionaire Charles Vanderblatt, where he siphoned hundreds of millions out of the Vanderblatt accounts over the course of three weeks. The contract has two objectives, identifying and eliminating the target in an apparently accidental death such as a fall or drowning. Secondly, uncover files or data about the operation being planned. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Cool, cool. So we're gonna dive in and Hopefully we'll be able to figure this out. Um, now, because this is Colorado, um, I'm going to be starting somewhere other than the default, just so I can get a costume off the bat. Hey, as you can see, I'm. Good morning, 47. Exercising Welcome my to Colorado. The target is notorious for changing his appearance and mannerisms. You will need to sweep the compound to locate him. Remember, you must eliminate the target in a manner that appears accidental. Avoid explosives, as these are too likely to draw close attention. Good hunting. Okay. So I do need to just get myself a decent disguise. Um, cool. That was a little close for comfort, but now I am appropriately dressed. Don't like that guy watching, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move around to here. Cool. Now there is a camera there, but that's okay. I'm sure we can avoid it. Hello, sir. Hello. And let us just pop over here and pop in here. Okay, first things first. What I want to do is just make sure that we have no evidence. So what I'm just going to do... Cool. So that was an EMP device, which um, thankfully just took out the um, recording. Now what we have here is there is one guard up here who can see through my disguise guys, but that's fine. He shouldn't be an issue. Now we do need to just wait around for these hackers to move on. As we do need to get to that laptop. Yeah. 
If this doesn't Air Force General go. Robert James Cobb, Nellis Air Force Base, 72nd Strategic Air Wing. Come on. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes. So now that he's out, I can get these files, which will leave me committed now. So. I do need to just be patient. Yes. Now that that guard is there, what we will do is we will just place the phone on his bench. On the place. Okay. There we go. And. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and let's wait for him to go around. Now we are just going to head downstairs as we give him a call. Oh no! How shocking! Target down. The money has been wired to your account. Excellent. Now we just need to make sure we don't run past any notices um, on the way out. But yeah, that one was um, fairly, fairly simple. But as I said, I didn't record any um, dialogue last time, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. And I got to use the phone again. It really is a nifty little toy. Uh, anyway, let's just confirm that that is indeed... A silent assassin. Excellent. Uh, so, short and sweet, short and sweet. Anyway, I will catch you next time. Bye.